here at the historic Rideau Canal to try out my new contraption. This is a surf ice skate. So I constructed this with waterborne adapters and we're going to try it out on the historic Rideau Canal, the world's largest maintained skateway. I constructed this board basically out of a bunch of things that I had lying around. I had an old Oxello Carbird 540 deck, I had some random trucks, and I purchased these blades from someone who made them here in Ottawa. Uh, I also had an extra waterborne adapter which I used to create the surf skate mechanism and I thought let's try putting this all together and see if it works. Much to my surprise this thing turned out to be a load of fun. You could even actually do some tricks on it. Um, it didn't pump as smoothly as a surf skate on land but you could actually use some wiggle pumping to get it moving on its own. Uh, tried some snaps and some other tricks. I wasn't brave enough to try a kickflip, but um, lots of fun anyway. Um, you can see here that it's a lot of work to pump this thing. You also have to push a lot more than you would on a normal surf skate. So I definitely got my workout <laughs> running it, but it attracted a ton of attention. Probably, you know, a hundred people stopped to ask me what this thing was, how it was made and things like that. So if you're looking to, to make a splash, this is something fun to, to try out. A few observations from the way I set it up that could maybe improve it. I found that the trucks, I used longboard downhill trucks on the back and they were a little bit too wide. I felt that while that made it stable, it kind of made it difficult to get it on rail because the back just wanted to slide out since the front is narrower. So I think I'm going to try some narrower rear trucks and see if I can get that working a little bit better for pumping. And I think the wheelbase was a little bit long. This is one where you kind of want to have weight over both the front and the back skates so that you can keep the pressure down so one side doesn't slide out while still engaging the front truck mechanism. This here is pretty fun to watch because I never thought I would actually be able to land this. You can see the shock on my face right here. <laughs> Who'd have thought you could do a half cab on a surf skate with skate blades? I tried doing snaps and slides and you can do all of those things on this as well but it reacts a little bit differently so I didn't quite get the hang of getting the full 90 degree snap and being able to get it back. I seem to always lose traction on my foot when trying to swing it back around but it was still pretty fun to try out. This was all on my first day testing this rig out so I'm going to do some fine tuning to the trucks. I might change the wheelbase a little bit, see if I can get some narrower trucks on, and I'll keep you guys posted in case this is something you might want to try to build for yourself. Because even as it was on the first test, it was a ton of fun and a way to get a little bit of a surf skate fix in the long Canadian winters. Thanks for watching guys.